Okay. Uh, yeah, so here's a little demo of animation. Um, so I have a cube, and I'll view it from the top. And go into edit mode. So I'm going to make uh, I'm going to make a worm. So uh, let's do. We're in edit mode, so I'll hit B to box select, and I'll select those four edges. Then I'll hit E to extrude, and pull it out. And there's the uh, here's the neck, and E to extrude again. There's the body, and here's the tail. Okay, so um, how about? So I've made a I've made a little worm with four pieces. In fact, to be able to see it better, um, let me go and add some colors. So I'll go to materials, and it's got a material. I'll call the uh, say I'll call it white. This first one will be called white. Oh, okay. So uh, this material here is white, and um, and I'll just uh, here, hit A to get all the vertices into a sign. Boom, it's all assigned. And I'll make another material. We'll call it a uh, new material. We'll call it blue. Your blue material. And go to face select. And I'll select this one. Blue, just watch it, and then assign. And then here's another one. I'll select blue and assign. Okay, and then I have to make the blue blue. Okay, so now I've got a little worm with two. Uh, it's, here's its neck and here's its tail, blue neck and a blue tail. Tap out. Now what you do is you make a, uh, a bone. So you've got a mesh and you want to create an armature. So you have to add, let's see, uh, deselect everything. Um, you add an armature. So there's a single bone I got added. And to see it, you have to go over to the uh, armature property element and click on x-ray. X-ray will let you see the bone. So there it is. One bone right in the middle of that. And now I'm going to extrude the bone to make it uh, into a uh, character. Um, in fact, but I probably want to move it. Well, I'll just leave it like this. So you go into edit mode. So you make a bone, you go into edit mode, and you select um, select an end. So let's see. Actually, um, I want to select that end, but I, the bone's not really exactly where I want it. Sorry, let me go back to object mode. I want to move the bone to a better place. So I'm going to move the bone here, like in the over there, and pull it down. Okay, so I moved the bone so the, the point there is right in the middle of the neck. Great. So now you go into edit mode and zoom in and select one end and hit E for extrude and extrude it. Maybe view from the top, maybe. View from the top. So what you're doing is you're, uh, you're putting in the bones if you're a creature, and they should be right in the middle of everything. And now you extrude another one. Um, and as you extrude them, you should be naming them, or you can name them later. So this one is the head bone, head bone. This one here is the neck bone. Uh, let me go and extrude more. This one here, so I'll extrude out for the body bone. Pull that out. Yep. So that's the body bone. And then extrude one more. Oops, a view from the top. And if you have a big model, this takes a long time. Uh, extrude out for the tail. That's the tailbone. Okay, so I've got four bones, five bones. Um, and now you want to attach the bones to vertices. So uh, you can do it this way, view from the top. Um, Actually, these didn't come out exactly the way I wanted it. Uh, it's all right. Um, so what you do is you uh, you go out, go back to object mode, and then go uh, when you've selected the mesh, go to edit mode. Oh, I'm sorry, no. Select the mesh, then shift select the armature and parent. Control P. 
And you have a bunch of choices. We can do uh, parent with automatic weights. See if that works. Once that's done, you can see if it worked by clicking on the armature, going to pose mode. Oops, clicking on the armature, going to pose mode. And in pose mode, when you move, when you rotate these things, it rotates the mesh. Uh, let's check this one, rotate this one. Hey, it actually doesn't look too bad. Rotate this one. Yeah, maybe that's good. Maybe that's good enough. Um, if it's not good enough, I'll show you how to adjust it. Go back out to object mode. Um, click on the mesh. And uh, in the over here, if you look at the mesh pane of the properties window, it shows a bunch of bones. So you can say click on the head bone and go into edit mode. Click on the head bone and, and hit this, um, let's see, A to deselect. Hit this select. It shows you everything the head bone is connected to. Head bone is connected to all of those vertices. Oops, I should be in vertex mode. So head bone, select, Selected all, may, which may be too many. Maybe you don't want all of those. So if you don't want all of them, click here. You can delete. Say I want. To, I don't want it to be connected to these four. So you can hit remove. Boom. And then you do select. It's just for those. And likewise, the uh, neck bone is associated with those. That looks good. And the uh, A to deselect. And the body is associated with, oops, nothing. So let's, that's, that's not good. So we'll do B for body, select all of these, and assign. So now the body is, select, is associated to all of those. And then finally, the tail is selected. Oops, we probably don't want those two, these guys here. So let's delete that. So box select and remove from the tail. Okay, and select. The tail is just those. Perfect. So what you do is you associate to every bone a set of vertices. And then when you go back here into pose mode, as you uh, move, rotate any bone, it rotates the mesh. Okay, so now, you've, now you can pose objects. Um, the next step, and you guys can watch this video later, is uh, to open the, uh, let's see, open the dope sheet and go to the uh, shift space, select action editor, we'll make actions, and create a new action, which we say uh, wag, wag the tail. And for that one, it's the same thing we've done before with insert. So uh, you select a bone, you go to frame 1, insert rotation, go to frame 10 or 20, uh, rotate across the z-axis, insert rotation, go to 40, uh, rotate around the z-axis, insert rotation, go to 50, rotate around the z-axis, Maybe make the rotation exactly zero and insert rotation. And there you've got it. You now have an action called WAG. You can do Alt A. Oops, uh, then that was in pose mode. So now if we go back, yes, so it wags, wags the tail. And if you go now here, so this is, it's called WAG. So now we have to press the F to remember it. I'm on battery power, okay. Press the F to remember it, and then you can delete it, and it's still there. We've got the wag. That's, that's the process of making an action. So we made one action. Then you can put it in the game by going to the logic editor. Uh, da, 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 logic editor, uh, keyboard sensor, say with uh, space for wagging, and um, and oops, action actuator. Uh, so you select the action, 
wag for the object. Start frame 1, end frame 50. Uh, action is play, and uh, I think that's it. And then connect them. Or no, let's, let's make it loop end. Loop end. No, let's make it... Uh, well, actually, let's, let's try play for a second with the continue selected. Right? So now we go uh, tab, go to object mode, and P for play, and space. So it's wagging a tail. Right? So this way you can, it's, it's a lot of steps. You have to make the mesh, put the bones in, associate the vertices to each bone you want, go to the action editor, make an action, name it, save it, then go to the um, uh, logic editor and um, invoke it. Um, I think, let me see, there was another one here. Not play, uh, loop stop. I think loop stop. P for play. Yes. Loop stop. When I let go, it stops and then continues. So, as long as I'm holding it, it's wagging. When I let go, it stops. So there's a lot of variety. And then you can make tons of these actions. So, um, but, so if, you want, if you want to work on animation, you can do that. It's pretty straightforward to put it in. Um, but it's just a lot of work. Um, you have to get all those poses right. It's kind of a pain in the neck. Um, and OK. So that's, let me save that. Uh...